Trust the Profits and Playup Race Book present the live reaction, analysis, and recap of the 2022 Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. All right, we are starting to load up here at the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Trust the Profits here on the formula, joined by Colin Sheen. Uh, Colin, what do you like about the, the Dirt Mile here? Who you got? We're back. I'm on Cyberknife. Uh, I've been on Cyberknife this week. I mean, he's kind of, I just feel like the, what he's shown uh, through the course of this year, he's continuing to prove, improve, I should say, into this fall season. Cody's Wish is your nine to five favorite who yeah. has won six of the last seven races, including the grade one forego up at Saratoga. And you pointed out to me that was over Jackie's Warrior. So that yeah. probably has some impact. They are off. I've got Gunite here. My pick earlier this week was Laurel River. Laurel River, the six, was scratched. They are bunched up at the start here. A uh, little bit of a rough start. Looks like the one horse, Slow Down Andy, is out in front, kind of as we expected. I was expecting Slow Down Andy, maybe simplification to get out there. Pipeline, of course. Look at that. Pipeline, who was pushing the pace on, on Jackie's Warrior a few weeks back, is getting out in front. No surprise there. Gunite right behind him. And Slow Down Andy is in third as we speak. Yeah, you had the scratch of six Laurel River, <laughs> Laurel River, which pushes in one gate for Cyberknife. So he didn't lose too much ground into that first turn. Got about two or three wide outside simplification, and uh, is sitting a nice little fourth right now. So we'll see. Uh, you know, twenty-two seconds for the first quarter. Uh, it's not blazing, but uh, we'll see how that does to Gunite. I think Cyberknife's sitting a pretty nice ride right now. Yeah. Yes, yeah, st still pipeline up front. Gunite is uh, right on him. Cyberknife is now looking to pass, it looks like, or he's he's getting up there in that first tier. Slow down, Andy is one tier back. And it looks like the seven horse Cody's Wish right behind. Cody's Wish does want to close. Cody's Wish wants to get up there on the pace. It looks like we're, we're hitting the stretch here. Cody's Wish already making his move. Cyberknife made his move. Didn't even look like Jeru's asked Cyberknife at all yet. And he's now he's asking him. But he's already been passed. He's been passed, so it might be too late. Let's see. Cody's this is wish. Be a good battle. This is going to be a great battle. Slow down, Andy, trying to make it up there too. It looks like slow down, Andy could take third here, but it is going to yeah. be Cody's wish. Cyberknife, slow down, Andy, real tight there. They're probably going to have to have a photo on that finish, but it did look to me like Cody's wish over Cyberknife. And I'm beating at the wire once again. <laughs> <laughs> and my pick of Gunite, it looks like Cyberknife checked him into the board. So he was uh, knocked out at the stretch there, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, heck of a finish there. Cyberknife got all he needed of Cody's wish. And slow down Andy, a horse that I've always really liked, uh, coming in and sweeping up third there, it seemed. And I'll say, well, I've been kind of keeping track of the top finishes of the Breeders' Cup races so far. Yeah. Uh, there was probably two yesterday. I remember the Mischief Magic race uh, was a good finish. Um, this one might right now be the top for that because that was a great stretch run there between those two. Uh, it was. Ones. It was, yeah. I can see they're, they're going through the replay again here. And we can see I, I really like the way Cody's wish. He's, he's got a real strong push on the stretch there, real strong closer. Um, it was fun to watch him really tangle there with Cyberknife at the end. Two really strong horses, Cyberknife, who we've seen in a lot of longer distance races and tangling with some of the best dirt horses in the world. So Cody's Wish really earning it there and and slow down Andy. It was nice to see him a length behind, but still uh, still putting in a, a really strong effort there from slow down Andy, a horse that I really liked when he was on the Derby Trail this past year. And so. that's 7-9 exact, uh, pays $13, and your pick five... Ooh. With Cody's wish on top pays twenty nine hundred dollars because of course you had that big uh, bomb in the previous race with Caravel, but the seven nine exact. I mean that's what you got to pay attention to on these probables because thirteen dollars uh, on those two. Yeah. Who really from the betting public and that set uh, seven to five was it or nine to five over five to two? Yeah. Thirteen dollars if you just box those two um, and hammer it. That's kind of, you know, it's like the Forte Cave Rock. You're just hammering the top two, and you, and you yeah. should be doing okay instead of trying to get cute. But Definitely works in the small fields, right? The the smaller the field is, the more that, that type of strategy is going to work for sure. Okay, so there we have it. That is the Dirt Mile. Cody's Wish, Cyberknife, Slow Down Andy, one, two, and three. Thank you guys always for tuning in. Thanks for watching Trust the Profits, your home for the best in horse racing and sports analysis.